With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so question says this, the addition of sodium hydroxide solution to a weak acid H rate results in a buffer of pH 6, right? So, if the ionization constant of HA is 10 to power minus 5, then the ratio of salt to acid concentration in the buffer solution will be, right? So, we have to tell the ratio of salt to buffer, salt to acid concentration, right? So, let's try to solve this, right? So, we have an acid, weak acid HA, right? So, I can say that we have a weak acid like acetic acid, that is weak acid, right? So, let it denote by HA, right? So, when in this, when we add NaOH, right? So, in this weak acid, when we add NaOH, then there is a formation of buffer, right? So, then there is a formation of buffer. That means, then there will be a formation of here, sodium acetate, right? Salt formation, right? Then there is a formation of salt formation, right? The reaction will be look like this, right? The reaction will be look like this, right? And, and here H2O, right? So, for this reaction, right? So, for this, this reaction, the pH the, for this solution, for this buffer solution, right? So, this is a buffer solution. So, so for this buffer solution, the pH is equal to 6, right? So, we have a pH is, is equal to 6, right? And the ionization constant of H, right? So, we have a, this ionization constant. For this, the ionization constant of H is 10 to power minus 5, right? So, for this, we have the value of Ka, right? So, ionization constant Ka for acid, right? So, it is equals to 10 to power minus 5, right? So, it is equals to 10 to power minus 5, right? So, we have to tell the concentration of salt to acid, right? So, we have to tell the concentration of salt to acid, right? So, it is, we have to tell this ratio, right? So, salt to acid concentration ratio, right? Salt to acid concentration ratio, right? So, we have to tell this ratio, right? So, we know the formula for this ratio. I can say, I can write here as the formula for this the, will be pH is equals to pH is equals to pKa plus log concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid, right? Concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid, right? So, this is the formula for calculating this ratio, right? So, we have the pH, right? So, we have the pH which is given that is equals to 6, right? So, we have the pH which is given that is equals to 6, right? And now we have to find out the value of pKa, right? So, we have the value of K, right? And we know that pKa is equals to, we know that pKa is equals to minus log Ka, minus log Ka. And that is equals to minus log of 10 to power minus 5. So, I can write here as the pKa will be, pKa will be 5, right? So, the pKa will be 5, right? So, because 5 log 10 and log 10 has a value 1, right? So, it is equals to 5, right? So, I can write here as the pKa is equals to 5 and plus log, right? It is a base 10, right? So, I can write here it is a base 10, right? It has a base 10, right? And we have the salt upon concentration ratio, right? So, concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid, right? So, concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid, right? So, we get, we get here, right? So, 6 minus 5, right? So, it is equals to 1 is equals to, I can write here as log to the base 10, the concentration of salt, right? So, the concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid, right? So, the concentration of acid, right? So, this is our acid, right? So, let it solve further and we will get, we will get, right? So, we will get here, this is base 10, right? So, if I move it here, so it, it becomes 10 to the power 1, right? So, right? so I can write here, it is it is 10 to the power 1, right? So, it becomes 10 to the power 1 and here it becomes salt divided by concentration of acid, right? So, divided by concentration of acid, right? So, from here, I can say this, the salt upon concentration, the salt upon concentration, right? Not concentration, salt upon acid, right? So, salt upon the concentration of acid, right? Salt upon the concentration of acid will be equal to, will be equal to here, it is equal to 10 by 1, right? So, I can write, I can write in this form, right? So, the ratio will be, the ratio will be 10 ratio 1, right? So, the ratio will be 10 ratio 1 of which salt 
to acid right so salt to acid right this is the ratio of salt to acid this is the ratio right so let's check the option the options are 10 ratio 1 4 ratio 5 5 ratio 4 and 1 ratio 4 right so from this i can say this the ratio is we are getting this that is 10 ratio 1 right so we are getting 10 ratio 1 right so the correct answer will be the option a the correct answer will be the option a that is 10 ratio 1 right so in this way i can say that option b c and d will be the wrong answer option b c and d will be the wrong answer and that is correct answer that is option a right that we are getting the ratio of salt to acid is 10 ratio 1 right so hope this answered your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today